Sarah is watching a bird and she has been sitting like that for about five minutes. And <laughs> she looks so awkwardly uncomfortable. Oh, okay, she shifted finally. God, she's funny. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday, June 12th. I have a little bit of an outline because I wanted to make sure to go over a few things. I would like to welcome you to my art room. I would love for you to hit subscribe and the little bell icon so you can get updates in any new videos. And I hope that you enjoy the content on my channel. This beginning intro is a little talky because there's a lot of things that have gone on that I want to make sure to go over. So I want to summarize the last two weeks. I have had a employment change. The long and the short of that is I am no longer employed at the medical clinic I worked for for five years. And that is a big change in my life, which has also equaled a change in income. And it is still a fluid dynamic as in I am still trying to find employment and trying to find employment for my skill set during a pandemic is not necessarily going to be the easiest thing for me to do. The other thing that I have gone through is since April I have been struggling with extreme anxiety which has led me to some on and off depression the anxiety started with a familial situation here in my home environment but then escalated at work my work became untenable i loved my job i loved what i did i cannot say how much i loved working with patients but what i did not love was that the interpersonal relationships had become severely damaged. It did come to a place where my anxiety led to my termination. I'm okay with it, even though the anxiety of finding another job is nerve wracking, to put it mildly. <laughs> How does my change of employment and money change my art? It frees up the energy that I would normally put into employment into my art. Work a little bit and I stop and I work a little bit and I stop and I've always been kind of that person. Lately it's been harder to focus. I spend my time going between different activities at a different pace and it's not been as fulfilling. I have three big projects on the board. One of those is more SCA related, so it's not gonna be through the costuming group. The, uh, the other two are costuming related. Just keep your eye out, know that things are changing. I apologize, I have been very inconsistent the last two weeks. A lot of that had to do with the strain and stress of my situation. My art is directly related to my mental state. Just so that you understand a little bit more, I use art and creativity as a coping mechanism for my life. I have a very difficult time with interpersonal communication sometimes. I think I'm trucking along really well and I figured it all out and then it falls apart. And I don't always understand why it falls apart. And I analyze and do a lot of talk therapy with my friends, much I'm sure to their chagrin that they don't wanna hear me talk about things around and around and around and around. And I'm so thankful I have them in my life because I need that. I need to be able to regurgitate and dialogue over and over and over again a circumstance with different people to get different people's perspectives. I am not neurotypical in that way. And it requires a great deal of effort for me to diagnose, break down and make sense of emotional behaviors of other people. I often don't even understand my own emotions in certain situations and I think I have it figured out and then it's not figured out and it causes problems. The irony is that I love working with people. I think I'm actually pretty good at it considering that I have this handy, this, this different way of approaching circumstances and interactions. 
and art is a constant fabric is a constant you know cotton will always behave a certain way linen will always behave a certain way uh, color is constant there are five million thousand shades of green but green is green and green and blue and yellow and all of the colors in the rainbow they are constant even within their shades and values uh, to create form and to draw have the same rules the pencils that i use are going to behave the same way the ink and pens is going to be sa behave the same way when i order a 80 pound paper it's going to be the same 80 pound paper in another pad by the same company the there are rules and there are guidelines in art um, and that is my safety net. That is my coping mechanism. And I use it to make sense of my world. When I create something, it is in direct relation to how I'm processing something in my life. And I create for other people because I have a difficult time expressing my, my feelings for people. So I make things for them to show that love, to show that expression, to show that admiration. And that is the way my brain and my life works. So art, welcoming you into my art room, shows you so much about how I think and how I process and how I care about my connection to other people. It is deliberate. It is well thought out and it is not an accident. Yes, I am an artist and yes, I am just like everyone else where I have feelings and thoughts and emotions, but I express my world differently. I know that I am not the only one that expresses my world differently. And so I share it to hopefully connect other people who also, also struggle with that. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunday the 21st of June. It's been a wild ride the last two. I haven't posted much of anything. Today is a day of catching up on posting and videos and getting video edits. And yesterday I sewed all day long and it was really the first time that I've been in the studio consistently for a couple weeks. I did work on my Victorian day dress, but I got stuck on the sleeves. And that's pretty common. Anybody who's sewn anything knows that sleeves can be kind of a pain. So I'm stuck on that. Today, I actually made myself uh, a cap to wear at night. Um, I read somewhere that a silk satin cap would be perfect for nighttime wear. I'm gonna try it out. This is 100% silk. I made it from a scarf, but it isn't satin. It's just silk. So I don't know if it's gonna be too static or not, but I'll try it out and see what happens. I've been working on a commission piece. It's an applique uh, on a dress. The other cool thing that happened last week is I got my new camera and I'm so happy with my new camera. It is an EOS 250D. It is a beginner's camera really, but it has a lot of the features that uh, you're gonna want for a vlogging camera anyway. It's really lightweight. It's got slow motion, it's got point and shoot camera. I'm really enjoying it, I've been taking lots of pictures. I'm gonna be using it on my hikes as much as I am in my art room. So you're gonna be seeing a lot more photography on my Instagram, I think. <laughs> I am also going to let y'all know to keep an eye out the CoCovid YouTube 
is coming your way. The costuming group decided that since Costume College was canceled this year, a whole bunch of us would get together and do some classes. I have not decided what class I'm going to teach, but I will be teaching a class. I love teaching, it's one of my favorite things to do. So it will be an instructional video. I am troubleshooting right now some of the ideas. I'm really trying to crank out this commission piece that somebody asked for, so I'm gonna be working on that. You're gonna uh, see that footage moving closer to the fall, but I really need to work on it. So I'm gonna be shooting a lot of footage this week on that. I hope to get back to weekly art room vlogs. I apologize. Uh, this month has been crazy. Good or bad, bad is the way it is. So I am going to be working a lot more on my personal business. I want to focus a little bit more time on my business YouTube channel as well. Uh, I do usually link that in the comments below, so it's at the bottom. I have a Dalmatica embroidery I really need to get cranking on. So you're gonna see a lot more of blippy footage, I think, in some of my uh, weekly art vlogs because I'm gonna be working on several projects. And then when I get done with the project, I'll do a consolidated video on that whole project. At least that's kind of my mindset right now. So I hope you all have a beautiful day and thank you for joining me. And I wish you a beautiful day. I might edit all of that out, we'll see. So 